Let me bring you back to the studios. You were trying to find a way to approach the studios for a job. Now, the best I could do is the guard gate. Well, I broached the subject to whoever was on guard gate. You know, they had not, not much to do at the studios. Well, go see the location manager. And they'd ring up and they'd come out and get me. And I broached it to him. And it got further up the line until I talked to the head of all the studios. Uh, Harry B. Warner, Louis B. Mayer, all these top men. We finally had a big meeting. I broached the subject. And they granted me a contract for 100000 bucks, But I had to supply everything. All the meteorologists, 24 hours a day. They gave me the office space, but I had to pay for the... Uh, transmission lines, the teletype machines to get the reports in. Well, Caltech heard about it. And they called me over, and I went to Caltech, and they raised heck with me and says, this is a no-no. I says, Nine, uh, seven studios are not under your jurisdiction. So they said, no, we can't control the seven. Well, we can control the two. They can't participate. That broke it up. They can control what two? They control the two studios who were still under contract for weather. With Caltech? With Caltech. Do you remember what studios those were? Uh, one was MGM, and I don't remember what the, I think Fox 20th, if I remember right. But unless all nine major studios participated, this thing wouldn't, this, the Producers Association couldn't handle it. So that broke it up. Now I need a job. Now I'm out of work and out of a contract. Well, I had met a lot of big people. Still couldn't get in the union. And then one day, a couple months later, I get a call from the location manager at Paramount. I got a job for you. No unions involved. He said, fine. He says, you meet Mr. Landsberg, and I'll set up the meeting. So a couple of weeks later, I went to Paramount on the meeting and met Mr. Landsberg. He was trying to set up a station for Paramount. Well, let's explain. Who, who is Mr. Landsberg? Mr. Landsberg is a television engineer, German. He's the man that set up and devised and shot, uh, not shot himself, but televised the Olympics for Hitler. And he was a full German. It's the first time any athletics were televised. This was in the 30s? Oh, in the 30s. Well, he knew what was coming with Hitler. The minute it was over, he broke everything down, packed them in old suitcases and trunks, and left for New York. <laughs> he got out of there fast. He got a job with Dumont, a little tiny electronics industry. Paramount bought Dumont, and they set up a thing at, in Los Angeles for him to open a little experimental television station, which he was very happy to do. Uh, that's when I went to work for him. And what's his full name? Claus Landsberg. And uh, so the location manager from Paramount Pictures uh, sent you over to, to meet Klaus Landsberg. That's right. Um, do, you, do you remember that first meeting? Yeah, the first meeting, I went up this little corner of a test stage, met Landsberg, told him I wanted to shoot camera. He says, I haven't got a cameraman's job for you, but I'll hire you. You'll get $1 an hour, one day a week. You'll work four hours on a Thursday, and you'll get paid four bucks. He says, now, it'll grow but I can't tell you whether it be one week, one month, or 10 years. Why did you request a uh, camera? Because that's what I wanted to be, a cameraman. So after all these years, you still want to be the cameraman? Yeah. So I went to work, and my first job was sweeping the floor in the little tiny test stage. And then... I'm sorry, you were saying? Well, he says, now you're going to need another job. So he looked around, and he found me a job in the lab 
where they developed film at MGM as extra work. And I went to work there you know, four days a week and for Landsberg one day a week. Why only one day a week? Because that's all he was on the air. Television was so nothing in those days, experimental. It would take four or five days just to get a picture on the air, and the picture was only good for maybe 10 blocks from the studio. Uh, 